Hello everyone! During today's short video, we will introduce a set of basic terms necessary for a better understanding of ODA tools for CAD and BIM. This video starts a series of educational videos that are intended to help our potential or new members. But we also hope that if you are existing our member and you saw the for some time, these videos will be helpful for you as well. It doesn't matter which exact CAD or BIM task you are performing, you will have to deal with the model representation in memory. We will use the term database to describe the CAD or BIM model representation in memory. The key thing that it's necessary to know about the database is that it is a storage of containers. And those containers in turn store the actual elements of the database. As you understand, we support different formats and thus for different formats will have different representations in memory and thus different databases. Thus the structure of those containers and the number of those containers will vary accordingly. When talking about elements, it's necessary to pay attention to three points of interest. First of all, element ID. Element ID is the unique identifier of the element and the database and is used to address the element. Next one, element properties, the actual native uh, properties of the elements that describe it. And it's necessary, I think, also to pay attention to element dependencies because the element itself may depend or refer to other elements and thus this should be also considered. Now, after we introduced what a database is, uh, let us switch to such a typical operation as the file reading. Or oh, what the file reading does, it creates the memory representation of the model. And actually, this procedure consists of the following simple steps. First, it creates an empty database. Then, it appends to an empty database the obligatory containers and some obligatory elements. And after this, uh, file reading procedure populates this empty database with the data obtained from the file on disk. Please pay attention that almost there always is some set of obligatory containers and elements. And it doesn't matter how simple or how complex the model is, the set of obligatory containers and elements will be the same. Three more points that we need to pay attention to during the read procedure are the following. First of all, the format specifics. As you understand, the format specifics introduces uh, the differences in the database structure. Next item is the dependent files. As you understand, a model may reference other models, font files, raster images, and etc. And we need to make sure that during the root procedure, all those files are available for our application. Next, element properties. Some formats allow to introduce custom elements with custom properties. For other formats, as soon as a new version is introduced, the new elements with the new set of parameters become available. And we need to make sure that we have all the necessary models with all the necessary descriptions of the parameters and of the elements that are stored in the model being read. Model creation is quite similar to model reading. We need to create an empty database, append obligatory containers and elements, and then populate the created structure with the data we need. Again, please pay attention that there is a set of obligatory containers and elements that should be placed to the model, and it doesn't matter how complex or how simple the model is. Write procedure is pretty much like the read procedure, but is performed in the reverse order. So we grab the data from the model and place it on the proper structure on the disk. It's necessary in a similar manner consider the following points, the format specifics, the availability of the necessary files and availability of the necessary auxiliary models. All the capabilities related to model reading or writing, database creation, accessing auxiliary files or loading auxiliary models are covered in ODE by the term services. Now, as a self-check, today we introduced the following terms, database, model representation in memory, container, the key structural element of the database, elements and their properties as the final element of the database, and services as a mechanism of operating with files, input, output, accessing, such as fonts integration and etc.